तो बेसिकली वेव्स आर एनर्जी कैरियर विद ट्रांसफर एनर्जी फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर विदाउट ट्रांसफर ऑफ मैटर एंड देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेव्स वी डिस्कस इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वन इज लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड सेकेंड वन इज ट्रांसफर्स राइट एंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड ट्रांसफर्स वेव Do you remember the difference? Ah uh, yes. Okay. In longitudinal, the vibration and the direction of wave travel both are parallel with each other, right? Yes. And in transverse, both are perpendicular to each other, right? Any confusion? No. Okay. Very good. and then we discuss about the examples of longitudinal and transverse wave right we discuss about the example of sound waves in which particles are vibrating from one point to another so they push each other so in this form in this way energy is transferring from one point to another right and in the transverse wave we discuss about the example of water waves right or if there is some string and we plug that string so string will be going like this wave of shape shape like sea water so in this situation vibration and wave travel both are perpendicular to each other right yes then after the examples we discuss about the process in longitudinal wave and in transverse wave there are two types of different process in longitudinal wave there are two process first one is known as compression right where a spring is going to be shrink or the distance between the particles is very small that part of the spring is known as compression right and at that point where spring is much in length greater in length or particles are away from each other that part is known as rarefaction right and yes. for the transverse wave there are some other properties like the upper part of wave is known as crust lower part is known as trough and what what we discuss about the amplitude but actually amplitude is it's the maximum displacement Okay, very good. So it is the maximum displacement from mean position or the maximum depth from the mean position. And what about wavelength? It's the distance between. It is the distance between two consecutive crust or two consecutive trough, right? Uh, sir, can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Basically, wavelength is the distance between two consecutive crust or two consecutive trough, right? Yes. And we solve some question related to these topics, right? Now continue with the next topic. We also discuss about the concept of frequency and time period, right? Yes. So now let's continue with new topic. I will send the recording of the previous topic also. So if there will be some confusion, you can again revise from the video lecture. Right. There is an other important topic in this chapter, which is of ripple time. Right. so today we are going to discuss about ripple tank so what actually ripple tank is let's suppose there is a shallow tank over here right and let's fill it with some water because we have to generate some water waves in the tank 
right next we have a bulb over here okay because this glass is transparent so we can easily cast the shadow of the water waves onto the ground level or onto the screen which is going to be placed on the ground right This is our screen on which we are going to observe the final pattern of the waves on the screen, right? Any confusion? No. And how can we produce vibrations in water or how can we produce water waves in the still or rest water? We have to place a motor over here, right? There is a type of motor here, which continuously produce vibration in the water tank, right? So due to that disturbance, water waves will continuously moving from one point to another, right? So we will get the shape of the water waves like this. Okay. So this shape comes due to the vibration in the water. Now what will be our observation when light focus on the ripple tank? When light waves strikes the ripple tank. So what will be our observation on the screen? How these waves or shadow of these waves going to be cast on the screen? Can you identify or any idea about it? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, since waves are moving up and up and down motion, like transverse wave, okay. So the shadow of these waves are going to be like this that some part is going to be dark, okay? Then after some gap, there is also a dark line. It means that there are going to be produced like dark and bright fringes, okay? There will be a dark and bright fringes after some equal distance gap, right? And how these dark and bright fringes are going to be formed? When there is a bright fringe, bright fringe aapke paas kya indicate karega? Bright fringe indicates okay. the crust. Okay. This is our bright fringe. Or you can say that the light is going straight or at that point, which is going to be bright. And this dark fringe represents trough, right? Any confusion? No. Okay, very good. So there are two types of observation. One is of bright fringes, one is of dark fringes, right? Dark fringes is due to the trough and bright fringes is due to the crust of the water wave. Now, what is the main purpose of designing this whole setup and what we are going to learn from this whole experiment? So the basic purpose of designing this experiment or the main conclusion we conclude from this topic, we can observe reflection of waves from this right? Reflection in water waves. And the second phenomena is of refraction. Refraction in waves. 
कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई दी थर्ड वन डिफ्रैक्शन राइट सो द मेन पर्पज ऑफ डिजाइनिंग दिस होल सेटअप इज टू स्टडी दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इफेक्ट इन वॉटर वेज राइट बिकॉज लाइट इज द मोशन ऑफ द लाइट पार्टिकल इज ट्रांसपेरेंट वी कान सी द पार्टिकल और दरिएंटेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल इन लाइट वेज राइट सो वी डिजाइन दिस होल सेटअप and then we can easily observe the reflection refraction and diffraction of waves so whatever type of wave are there when they are going to be transverse so same property same law or same phenomena phenomena is going to be there also right for light waves or electromagnetic waves or water waves right yes okay so now let's first discuss about reflection okay so first effect is of reflection reflection of waves so how waves are going to be reflect any idea since wave water waves are moving in a straight line and if you want to reflect those wave or in simple word reflection means bounce back right yes bounce back karane ke liye aapko kya karna hoga a mirror mirror okay no so you can also place mirror over there but in simple words we can say that we need to place some kind of obstacle or object in the path of the water waves right when we block the path of the wave so water waves are going to be strike on that surface and then bounce back right just like a example of normal ball when we hit a ball on the wall surface or any ground surface so ball will bounce back right yes so in this in this same manner water waves are going to be strike with some solid material or solid object or you can say that we place have to place an obstacle in the path of water waves so water waves are going to be bounce back from that obstacle right so let's place an obstacle in the path of water waves let's suppose water waves are going in this way from left to right okay these are water waves which are going from left to right position and we placed a obstacle over here like this right a wooden bar is placed in the path of these waves so when waves are going to be strike over here so how waves are going to be reflect or what will be the direction of the wave after striking this wooden bar any rough guess um right to left right to left okay since uh the wooden bar is placed in the inclined form or in the slanted form so wave is also going to be reflect from right to left but in some different direction right and what will be the direction of it if you need to identify the exact direction so the direction is going to be like this when this wave continues to proceed to the wooden bar and after striking the bar waves are going to be in downward direction like this okay so this is the direction of the propagation and this is the direction of reflection okay and how we exactly identify the direction of the wave for that question there is also a simple trick to identify the direction that you need to draw a perpendicular line 
which is going to be perpendicular with the wooden bar, right? Any confusion? No. So we need to just draw a simple straight line, which is always perpendicular to the surface of the obstacle, right? And then when we can easily identify the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Angle of incidence means the angle which or with which the waves are going to be strike with the wooden bar, right? And angle of reflection means that the angle after the striking that obstacle or the direction of the waves after the reflecting from the obstacle, right? Uh, sir, is it angle of refraction or reflection? Reflection. Reflect. Bounce back. Okay. Because there is a solid object, the so waves are going to be completely bounced back, right? This is our angle of incidence and this is our angle of reflection, right? Yes. In exam question or in the test paper of your physics exam, you don't need to draw normal and accurate measure angle there because there are not such typical type of question with the reference of angle. You need to just identify the direction when you solve or practice in person. So you come to know the exact direction of that wave in different Any confusion? No. Okay, very good. So this is the basic concept of reflection of waves in ripple tank, right? Or water tank. Now let's move towards the second phenomena in water tank or ripple tank that is of refraction, right? Second phenomena is of refraction. And the basic concept of refraction is bending of waves. Right? Now we have to discuss about the bending of waves from the water surface or in water surface, right? For this particular phenomena, we have two types of refraction process because for refraction we have to change the medium of the water waves right because when we observe light rays when light rays travel into the swimming pool or through the glass let's suppose there is a glass and we play fill with water full complete glass with the water and then we place some stick or pencil in the glass so the image of that pencil or that stick is going to be in some different form, right? Let's suppose if there is a glass which is going to be filled with complete water or half of the glass is filled with water, right? And we placed a wooden stick in it, right? So in water, the stick is going to be somewhere at this point, right? Just like the stick is going to be break from or in two pieces, right? So this is the observation of a pencil which is going to be placed in the water surface, right? And this actually happens because of the change in medium, right? Because there is only air and there is water, right? Yes. So now at this particular point, we also need two types of medium, right? First, let's discuss about when waves are going to be traveled from 
square to tenth medium, right? This is our first condition when there is a change of medium from rare to dense one, right? Let's suppose if we consider our atmosphere. So in our atmosphere, there are air molecules, right? So air molecules or the air atmosphere is rare medium because that is lighter one. And if we want to travel waste from air to glass, air to water or some other medium, so there is a difference density of these mediums because light is rare one and the water and the glass is going to be a denser one, right? But in ripple tank, there are only water waves there, right? So how can we change the medium of the water wave? Any idea about it? Um, by adding something. Okay. How can you add something? We can use two type of, uh, you can say that the different density of water. Let's suppose just same like in swimming pool, there are some deep water and there at some point there may be some shallow water, right? Or you can observe it at the beach or the seaside that whenever you are going straight into the sea water, you are going into the deeper sea, right? And at the sea view or at the beach point, there is very less quantity of sea water and that medium is known as rare one, right? So same process is going to be take place here in our this situation. Okay, any confusion? Abir, any confusion in it? If we want to change the medium of the water, we can take two different density of water. Let's suppose there may be some rare medium there or some, you can see less quantity of water, which is going to be rare medium. We are discussing about the example of seaside. When you are going into the water or the sea water, you are going deep into the water, right? So, I've Jitna forward walk karte rahoge, you are going into the deep side of the water, right? Yes. And when we when you are coming back from that deep water, so you are coming towards the shallow part of the water, right? So we need to take two types of waters medium. One is the deeper one, second is the shallower one, right? So this is the yeah. shadow medium, let's suppose. And the second one is of deep water, right? Now water waves are going to be traveled from shallow to deep water, right? And in this situation, the water waves which are going to be traveled from shallow to deep water, let's suppose there are straight waves or straight wave front going towards right hand side and the direction of waves or the water waves is in horizontal direction. Now you have to identify the exact direction of the water waves after passing through the shallow to deep. So what will be the direction of the waves after passing through the shallow to deep medium. Either they go straight or in upward direction or in downward direction. Can you identify? Is it upward? So, okay, you say that the waves are going to be in upward direction. 
How can you identify that water waves are going to be in upward direction? We discuss in reflection that in reflection you need to first draw a normal line. Okay. Then we can identify the direction of the waves because this practical or this experiment is already done and we already have the observation of these experiment, right? So we need to just remember the basic concept of this type of reflection, refraction. So let's first draw a normal line, which is going to be perpendicular to the medium, right? So let's suppose this is our medium line or normal line here. This is our normal, okay? So when water waves are moving from shallow to deep, so water waves are going to be bent in the direction of away from normal, right? So water waves are going to be like this one. Right? So they are moving away from the normal or you just need to remember when waves are moving or traveling when waves are traveling from rare to dense medium Right? So what will be the direction of refraction? Away from normal. Away from normal. The waves will bends or the waves will bend away from the normal. Right? So this is our observation from this phenomena of ripple tank in the first example or in the first case of refraction, right? Yes. Okay, any confusion in it? No. And if we reverse this process, Let's suppose now water waves are going to be traveled from dense to rare. So what will be our second statement? Bend towards the normal. Bend towards the normal. Very good. So when waves are traveling from waves are traveling from Tends to rear. The waves will bend towards the normal. Okay. Any confusion in it? No. Okay. So this is the basic phenomenon, the basic concept of refraction in ripple tank, right? Uh, we discuss about the direction of the waves after traveling from different types of medium, okay? that waves can bend away from the normal or towards the normal, 
in different situation, right? And there are some other properties which is also going to be linked with this concept. If we discuss about three types of components of wave, first is of the speed, right? That what will be the speed of the wave after passing from different medium? What will be the wavelength of the waves? And the third one is of frequency, right? This is very much important because many questions are regarding to this process. And we have to discuss between the deep and shallow water, right? This is the deeper one and this is for the shallow one, right? Okay, what will be the speed of wave when they are moving in deep medium or in deep water? When you observe Slow. the... Yes. When you observe the water waves at seaside, you observe that when waves are generating from the deep side of water, the waves are very giant and are moving with very high speed, right? Yes. So the speed of the wave in the deep water is going to be high or low? High. Yes. So the speed of the waves in deep medium is high and in shallow water, the speed is going to be low as compared to the deep water, right? Because when waves are proceeding or propagating towards us at the beach point or the sea view point. So you observe that the speed of the waves is not much greater when as compared to the speed of waves when they are generating from the deep side of the water, right? And what will happen with the wavelength of the wave? Wavelength means the length of the wave. Waves are going to be greater in deep or shallow. Uh, greater in deep. Greater in deep. Very good. And short of length. In the shallow water, right? And what will be the effect of frequency in it? Means number of waves per second. And there will be more of frequency and deep? No, there is a little no, bit fact. different concept that in deep and in shallow water, the frequency is going to be same, right? Because waves are very giant one in deep one in the deeper water so it takes some time to generate wave right a greater wave and in shallow water wavelengths are very short one so they can generate is a short wave right but they are low in speed as compared to the deep water so they can balance the time in which they generates number of waves in one second or in a unit time right Yes. So shorter waves are producing in shallow water. So they take less time to generate waves, but they are low in speed, right? And in deep water, water waves are of greater wave than. So they take time to generate that giant waves, but they are in very high speed, moving with high speed as compared to the shallow water. 
so the time will be they both manage the time of generating waves somewhere equal to in deep water and shallow water the time of generation of the waves will be same so we can say that the number of waves generating in both type of medium in water wave are going to be same right yes so you just need to remember these points these are very much important for your questions because many questions are related to this topic okay okay so now